I've always felt that Bach was at heart a great opera composer, and the passions, the two passions that survive of Bach's, to me seem to be highly dramatic works that have been very much influenced by uh, operatic writing and operatic style. Um, my vision is to treat the work um, as a true oratorio in the sense that it's a, a dramatic storytelling piece that is told in front of the curtain rather than on the stage. I was very lucky that one of the earliest performances I did as a singer, as a tenor, of the St. John Passion, I sang the arias and Peter Schreier, who was the evangelist, decided to conduct the piece as well as sing the role of the evangelist. And it led to a very, very immersive and dramatic and very powerful performance where uh, the evangelist, as St. John, tells the entire story and controls the entire dramatic focus of the piece. And um, I've always wanted to recreate that. Um, I remember the audience being hugely moved and very excited by the piece. And I decided that the piece must always be done like that if possible. I think one of my favorite moments is quite near the beginning when the soldiers turn up to the Garden of Gethsemane to arrest Jesus and they uh, ask him, who is it, that he says, who is it you, you seek? And the chorus reply, Jesus, Jesus from Nazareth. And the vocal writing in that is, fits so beautifully the speech rhythms that immediately it's arresting to the audience and they are there themselves in the garden experiencing it. conceived the, part, the piece in German and he um, is a great master of um, using the actual language itself, the onomatopoeic sounds and the wonderful consonant resonance that you get in the German language. And um, even though perhaps uh, an English-speaking audience will follow the, the, the story much more closely in English, um, I think perhaps the German language itself and Bach's setting of it is enough to carry a dramatic tension in the piece that uh, is very powerful to an audience. Well, the St. Matthew Passion is a lot longer and is a very meditative and contemplative piece. Um, strangely, the dramatic sections in the, the main dramatic sections in the St. John Passion are actually um, sections that he's taken from Matthew's Gospel. But uh, in his St. Matthew Passion, um, we don't have the same arresting drama that you have in the John Passion, which uh, is overall a much more operatic work. Everybody should know these two great passions of Bach. They are the crowning glories of the 18th century choral repertoire. Um, the Allegri Singers is the ideal size to take this piece on. And um, I think perhaps the unusual way that we're doing it with the dramatic setting and the vivid characterizations and myself as evangelist telling the story and controlling all of the music will be an extremely unusual and I hope very memorable and very powerful performance.